wanted to take a couple minutes to explain how to become a member of the Diesel Sports Complex website, how to update your communication preferences, and how to add guardians to your account. First, you want to start by signing in to the account that houses or has the registrations um, that you're concerned with making a guardian for. So you're going to hit the sign in button in the right hand uh, of the website at dieselsportscomplex.com. And from there, you're going to um, log in or create an account if you don't already have one, if you're new to Diesel Sports Complex. Here, you're going to click on your initials in the upper right hand corner and hit connect to site. You'll select all the profiles that are listed under your account and hit join network with selected profiles. After that, you'll go back to your, or your initials in the upper right hand corner and hit account settings. From here, you have a little sidebar. We're going to hit household. And from here, we're gonna be able to view everybody that's listed under your account here as you're, you're the one that is signed in. You're gonna hit view profile and you're going to hit the edit pencil in the upper right hand corner. From here, you're gonna scroll down where it says phone, additional phone, email address one and email address number two. You're going to want to list both spouses cell phone numbers as phone number number one and additional phone, as well as your email address and your spouse's email address under email address number two, and hit save. You're gonna go back to household and repeat this process for everybody listed under your account. So once again, you'll go in under your second one, hit the edit pencil, scroll down, make sure that you have both phone numbers for the spouses and your email address is listed here and hit save. This is also where you would add a guardian to your account. You simply, you would automatically be the guardian if you did the registration. And if not, you're gonna hit the edit pencil or the little plus pencil or the plus sign and add the email address of the person that you want to add as a guardian and send them this invitation. Once you do that, it'll show this person as pending and they will not be a guardian until they've gone in and accepted that email invitation that has been sent to them. So that is an important step that you don't want them to miss. Otherwise, they will not be listed as a guardian. Um, from there, you're going to go back to settings. And we're going to go to communication preferences. And here's where you're going to select all the email addresses associated with your account and or phone numbers here. When you select the phone numbers, when a, uh, a mass email is sent out to the organization, you'll get a small text message um, that says you have an, an email has been sent. So from that text message, you're able to actually physically open that email right away and view it or read it. So these are kind of important here. And under the registrations tab here off to the side, you will be able to go in to say your team registration if it's listed here under your account click on it, you'll be able to see your order details, make payments, update your um, credit cards if need be. I hope this little tutorial helps. And if anybody has any questions, certainly feel free to reach out to Lynn at scselectlynn at gmail.com. Thank you and have a great day.